Welcome, my name is Eric. And I'm Andrew. And this is going to be our last video of the semester. For our first video for you today, we have Phrase of the Week. Let's take a look. The Phrase of the Week this week is Call it a day or call it a night. We use these phrases when we want to quit working for the day or maybe stop what you're doing at night time and go to bed. Let's take a look at some examples. Oh, oh. Let's just call it a day and go home. I'm so tired. The boss was mad because Tom called it a day at noon and went home. I need to call it a night. I've been grading now for six hours. So the next time you're describing an activity that needs to stop, Try using the phrase, call it a day, or call it a night. See you next time on Phrase of the Week. Well, let's call it a day and go to our next video. All right then, so for our next video we have a GTF bio. This week we talked to Chris Haskell and we learned a little bit more about him. Let's take a look. Okay, hello, my name is Chris Haskell. Uh, I am from Oregon in the United States of America. I have been at TIU for two years, and this is my last term. Next term, I am going to Korea. Uh, before I came to TIU, I taught as a sergeant in the United States Marine Corps. After I left the military, I went to college to get a degree in teaching English, and then I taught in Korea, and then I came to Japan to teach at TIU. I think the number one thing about working here is the people. The teachers, my co-workers, are amazing people and I've learned a lot about teaching with them. And also the students. The students have been very, very energetic and excited within the classroom and they are also very forgiving when you do make mistakes. Uh, for my hobbies, I really like to run. I like exercise of all sorts. And then I also like watching movies, oftentimes with friends. and. Another thing that I really love is getting a bunch of friends together and cooking dinner all together. I think that that is a really fun activity to spend time with friends and build relationships. Okay, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> summer vacation is just around the corner. And we wanted to know what some of you are doing this summer. So we made a spotlight and asked some of the students in the lounge what they are doing for summer vacation. So guys, what are you doing for your summer vacation? Um, I'm to go back to my hometown. Okay, where's your hometown? My hometown is Iwate. In Iwate? Iwate. Very nice. How about you? I will work my part-time job for the past week. week. Uh, after that, I will go back to my hometown. And where are you from? I'm from Yamagata. You're from Yamagata? Okay, great. Well, enjoy guys, have fun! Um, well, my summer plan is to go back to Thailand for three weeks to spend time with my family and friends mostly and after that, at the end of August, I'm going to Sweden for my grad school. Uh, me, I gotta stay in Japan. I think my mom's coming. Uh, wait. Yeah, I think my mom's coming for the summer. She'll stay for like a, a month. But, yeah, I just gotta work and stay in Japan. <laughs> Ain't nothing much really soon. So, uh, I think I'm going back to the US because I'm actually transferring to Willamette University. So, but also, I have to hang out with all of my Japanese friends before I leave because I'll be there for two years. So, yeah, so many things to do. <laughs> you know, this is sound like a summer vacation. Yeah, I, I don't have a summer okay. vacation. Mm -hmm. I want to sleep too much time, and I want to play with my friend, and and I want I want to work part time job many many times because I want to get driver's license. I will go to the New York for two weeks. I, I will go to Karizawa with family. Mm -hmm. So I'm planning to hike Mount Fuji with my friends from TIU.
All right, for our last video, we have a special treat for you. It's a new segment. Yes, Skylar is going to teach us three new vocabulary words. Let's take a look. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Vocabulary Corner. I'll be your host, Skylar Chavon. Let's get started. Our first expression this week is run into. Run into is a phrasal verb, and it means to meet or to hit by accident. So if we run into something or somebody, it's always a surprise. Earlier today, when I was getting ready for class, I ran into Andrew in the hallway. Oh, hey, Andrew. Hey, Skyler. How's it going? Pretty good, man. Pretty good. How are you today? Pretty good. Good. See you See later. You later. We can also use ran into for problems we have. So last night, I was studying Japanese, and I ran into some very difficult kanji. Oh. Our next word for this week is anxious. Anxious is an adjective, and it means worried or uneasy. For example, Sometimes I feel anxious before a test, or a doctor's appointment, or even before a flight. Hey, Eric, what's going on, man? You okay? Skylar, I don't know. I just feel really anxious right now. Why? Oh, I have this big test later today, and I'm really worried. Ah, oh, Eric, don't worry, man. You're gonna, you're gonna do a great job on that test. Good luck, bro. Thanks, Skylar. We have the adjective anxious, but I would also like to introduce the adverb anxiously. You'll often hear this with waiting. I was waiting anxiously to hear the news. Or someone waits anxiously for something. And we usually don't feel so good when we're waiting anxiously. We really want to hear that news, and we hope it's good news. Our last word for today is appeal. Appeal is a noun, and what it means is something that causes people to like or enjoy it. So the appeal is the reason why we like something. Warm weather and beautiful beaches are the main appeal of a trip to Okinawa. So now that we know appeal, the noun, I want to teach you the adjective form appealing. And that means that something is very likable or attractive. Because he is very cute and funny, Pluto is very appealing. That's all for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us in Vocabulary Corner. We'll see you again. All right, so this is our last episode for this semester. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you again next fall. From all of us to you, have a great summer. Bye, guys. Have a great summer. See you next semester. Have a great summer. Have fun and be safe. Have a good summer vacation. Don't forget to keep your English abilities up. Bye. Have a good summer. Bye-bye. Sayonara. Bye. Bye. Have a great summer. Enjoy your summer. Bye, guys. Have a good summer vacation. We'll see you in the fall. Goodbye. Dostodonia. Baka. <laughs> Have a great uh, summer, everybody. Uh, looking forward to seeing you in the English Plaza next fall. Uh, please be safe. Take care. Have a good summer, guys. Yeah, yeah, see have, you later. Summer. have a great summer. Don't forget to continue to practice while the summer is happening. Vaya con papas. <laughs>